What's going on guys and welcome to the channel. If you like SBC tips, trading advice, how to complete objectives and much much more, even player reviews, icon reviews, SBCs for example, daily ones, are they worth it, how to complete them, then why not hit that subscription button, turn on notification bell so you do not miss a future video because we have got all the FIFA content you need on this channel. So we have got ourselves the mid-88 Wayne Rooney. He's coming in at 5 foot 9, high high work rates, right footed, 3 star skill, 4 star weak foot. Looking at the card straight away with 90 pace, 90 shooting, 87 dribble and 86 physical. This card looks ridiculous. It's, it's absolutely phenomenal acceleration. That's exactly what you want for a card like this, especially with his height. Shot power, real good. Long shots, real good. Finishing, phenomenal. Composure, which would be a little bit higher, but it's that's been super picky. Stamina is great. Balanced agility are great. Ball control, reactions, etc. Very good. Short pass and long pass, good for a striker. Doesn't have the best traits, though, I will be honest, outside the foot shot. But I just want to say shout out to Tom for letting me jump on his account from the Discord. As we will be playing him in a 4 2 3 1 today. And as you can see here, playing 4 2 3 1 with Son and Mares as the wingers. Fred and Kante are the two CDMs. We know Silver is the cam. And Wayne Rooney up front on his own. If it doesn't work, we'll swap into another role, which would be three, uh, 4 3 2 1. But let's just jump into a game and see how we get on. So we have managed to get a game here. He's got Crespo, Di Natale, a really nice team here. Nice mixture of uh, French players to Prem. We'll be jumping into our formation straight away. The main thing for me is how does Wayne Rooney feel on the ball? I'll right, we'll Rooney on the ball here. First impressions is uh, he turns he turns okay. I mean, it's hard to judge because I just got pressed straight away, but bad ball. And we are 1-0 down, unfortunately, to Crespo. Not the greatest start from here. Got to get used to this formation a little bit. And obviously these players. Looking for an option. Nice link up. That's a bit better. That's how we're going to have to play Rooney, I think. Do play the ball in. And there it is. That's all we needed from him. Lives much better from me in terms of play. Get him onto his left foot. He's managed to drill it in. You know with his finishing abilities that he only needs one chance and is going in and he's proven that straight away. What a finish from that angle. We've managed to uh, get back in the lead. Nice little link up play in terms of his passing. Having been able to finish that it comes down to many things. One obviously his finishing being so high as we've conceded a kickoff goal. The one being his finishing so high and two, his composure. But that is really nice play from him. Unfortunately, it's impossible to stop these kickoff goals most of the time. It's either you get your luck in or you don't. When you're making that ball over the top, can you get there? He can't, but he does. He feels super dangerous. So what I mean by that is you get one chance of him like we have already. He's going to capitalize. Back to Rooney. Oh, very unlucky. They tried to left it dribble. His left it dribbling was very good considering his card. Again, that's down to his height, his agility and balance. Rooney here into the gap. That's a penalty, surely. Oh, I'm not sure about that one. We did use the left stick dribbling to get into that space there. So. Rooney, a little link up. It's on. And we have managed to get an assist with Rooney. I'm now starting to figure out how to use Rooney. He is making up so much play for us. If you watch his off the ball movement, it's given us options. As long as we do not concede from another kickoff goal. Good tackle as he almost gets through again. His link-up play is mad. It's honestly, like, I can see why he's 1.2 million. He's so good at linking up, finishing as well. His first touch is phenomenal. Link-up here. Red. Watch it. We, we use Rooney as a fake run there. The dummy run to get the space. Look at that left stick dribbling right there. I didn't get the shot, but you see how quick he turned on the ball to get past Varane there. If I got the shot off quicker myself, I probably would have scored then. He's so good at turning. That's down to, like I say, his height, his agility. He does green. This guy is very good. He's green time in every single shot. Crespo is giving us a lot of problems here. Because he can green time the shots, my keeper's basically irrelevant. We do get rid of the touch there. Ah, oh, again, if you see though, his touch, his touch into play there is, is I've never seen anyone do it. I, the only person I've seen do it is Mbappe. I'm not really comparing him to Mbappe, but in terms of that animation itself, He's inside. We do manage to link up that though. We fire Rooney on the last man we can. Get turn back in. He's going to finesse. Good save. That's the problem with not having a finesse shot. Trey is being able to win those. Good pass there from Walker. That is half time. 
We are three two down with some absolutely phenomenal finishing from our opponent with his green time finesse. And as you can see, been a real close game. In terms of uh, Wayne Rooney's ability on the ball, I've, he's, he's phenomenal. He really is phenomenal. 12 dribbles, 5 complete, but I have been trying to dribble past quite a lot of people inside the box on his own. Shooting two shots, one in, one on target. So basically, sorry, two shots, two on target, one in, one missed. Passing, he hasn't missed a pass and he's got an assist. As you can see, he's only doing small link-up passing because we are driving forward with him. We're going to jump into the second half now. He Every time he has an opportunity up front, he hasn't missed. He hasn't let us down, which is massive. That's what you need in a striker. It's the only thing you can ask for. If I were to be super picky, I wish he had a bit better skill moves, but Rooney didn't really do that many skills. Gets past, has a shot, good block. Every time he gets the ball, he's forcing our opponent to either make a tackle, make a block. Yeah, nice link up play between Bernardo and Rooney. Uh, use that strength. Oh, he's missed, unfortunately. We do get the rebound. Again, we haven't scored, but you can see there his strength, his acceleration to blitz past the defender there was crazy. Unfortunately, there wasn't much of an angle to get shot off. I maybe could have lobbed it in obviously hindsight, but. Yeah, we can get the shot off. One more. Still can get shot off. We are causing a lot of problems now, though. Rooney is getting involved in almost every single attack and play. So many problems for our opponent. Do get Rooney through. And that is another goal from, as you can see, clinical. It is now 4 3. He's had two goals, one assist. His link up play with the 1 2 passes are ridiculous. Straight into the power shot, into the top corner. We're back in the game now. Yeah, and as long as we don't give away a kickoff goal with a green time finesse shot, we should be right if we do win the ball here. We're going to give it. Oh, that's a poor decision from me. This is Rooney. Rooney going to shoot. Oh, very unlucky not to almost get a pen there or get the shot off. Again, I feel like if we get Rooney through one more time, he's going to capitalize though. He just doesn't seem to really miss. He definitely doesn't miss the target. We are running out of time, so we might have to go a bit more attacking in a minute. Rooney, he's moved his keeper. Ah, oh, I can't believe that. What a save from him. That was going in otherwise. Yeah, and couldn't get away from Varane this time either. It's good defending. He's gone proper drop back now. As you can see, he's only got two players forward. The rest are literally behind the line. Yeah, he is now just passing it around the back. He's going to go back to... He's, this is how desperate he is for the win. He knows if we get another chance, we're going to score. Can we capitalise on the press? All right, unfortunately. That is our ball, though. We have got another chance from his time wasting. Rooney still has it. Bernardo! Oh, that was our chance. What a ball from Rooney again, though, feeding it in. He's through with it. He's going to green time it again, I'm sure. Yeah, and he has finished, unfortunately. We have lost the game 5-3. He's just caught us on the counter every single time because now that he has the lead, he can just pass it around the back like you saw a minute ago. He has been doing this for the majority of the game. I've just cut most of it out. It is unfortunate. Rooney's been phenomenal, though. I'm really tempted to go by him, to be honest. Stick him in my team. He's one of the best strikers I've used in this game so far. But yeah, his link-up play is so good. His shooting is so good. His, his finishing, he really doesn't miss the target ever. That is going to come to a close. We did lose, unfortunately, but the result isn't that important. It's more how we felt with the card. He was very good. Very, very good. One of the best cards I've used so far this year. Obviously, as we can see, he got 10. 30 dribbles, 20 complete. Some really intricate dribbling. He had uh, five shots, five on target, three blocks. So every single shot was on target. The others were blocked. Two goals, one across goal, one near post. His passing, this is what's really impressive with him. 22 passes, 21 complete. Yeah, they're only small passes, but they're the ones that open up the defense. And what I would say with him is, I don't know if he can play a 4-2-3-1 that well. He can definitely finish his chances. If you were to have another player linking up with him, so for example, a 4-4-2 or 4-2-3-1, just having more options on the wing, he would definitely benefit from that formation a lot. He is, none of this, he, is, he can carry his own. He's so good. I would say he's probably one of the best strikers I've played with. What is his price at the moment? 1.2. Yeah, I'm not surprised. But let's just go have a look on Footbin for best chem style and his price, and we'll be right back. So yeah, he's coming in about, about the same price on both consoles, around 1.2 and a half or 1.3 mil. I think that's a fair price to be honest with you. I think he'll drop down a little bit more obviously as the year goes on. If he's in icon swaps and he was all the tokens, I would really consider doing him personally because of how good he is. The same engine is his best chem style, which is what we had on him in game. And it just really boosts up that acceleration. Yeah, I think that is his best one to be honest, just because it boosts up that balance and agility. His acceleration and sprint speed go to almost max. You don't need to touch his finishing. 90 finishing with that short power is more than enough. 
His passing, that's why his passing was so good because it boosted it up. People are also saying that Hunter is the second best in terms of percentages. I personally wouldn't bother. I just wouldn't waste 5k Hunter on that. You have got better options with the engine. But that's going to be the video for today. If you have any comments or any questions, then please comment down below. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscription button, turn on notification bell so you don't miss a future video, and I'll catch you in the next one. See I'm coming with a vision that's cold. You can sit back, chill with a pen and take notes. I haven't got time for the trip and flow. I'ma take my aim with a pen and unload. Cock back, spray, let my enemies know when I reach.